Little or no income tax, foreign bank accounts, and eyebrow-raising details about loans to his adult children. Just some of the findings after the Democratic-led House Ways and Means Committee released six years' worth of former President Trump's federal tax returns. The returns spanning from the year Trump announced his first run for president, 2015, through his last year in office, 2020. The research that was done as it relates to the mandatory uh, audit program was non-existent. The tax forms were really never audited. Previous reporting from the Joint Committee on Taxation revealed shockingly low tax amounts paid by the former president, including paying only $750 in 2017, and in 2018 and 19, paying a combined $1.1 million, and paying no income tax in 2020, his final year in office. Trump offsetting his income by claiming millions of dollars in losses, raising questions about the former president's business failures. I've been successful in every business I've been in. And while Trump paid less than $1,000 in U.S. income tax in 2017, the former president's tax bill totaled nearly a million dollars in foreign taxes the same year, indicating notable business dealings in more than a dozen countries, including Azerbaijan, Turkey, China, Israel, and Brazil. Shedding light on where Trump's business interests were while he was in the White House. The returns also showed Trump maintained foreign bank accounts while serving in the White House, including in China. Some of Trump's